This channel is proudly sponsored by the Red Room Publishing. Please check out the link to their store for exclusive tabletop RPG products. They have recently released The Darker RPG, a tabletop role-playing game of supernatural and existential horror. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Here's a promo to one of their games. Step into this world of shadow and light, where your wit is your greatest weapon, and uncover the secrets that lie hidden in the heart of Paris. Dare to enter the wretched epoch. Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring Terra Arisen. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this setting for Traveler 2nd Edition and Cepheus Deluxe, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to start talking about the aliens, focusing on the Reticulans. The Reticulan Empire and Technate is the oldest and most powerful polity in known space. Reticulans are small, slender humanoids, standing on average 140 centimeters tall. They possess large, bulbous heads, dominated by two large, almond-shaped eyes. They have little or no nose, and a small, toothy mouth. All reticulans are biologically female. Each individual lays eggs several times in her life, through parthenogenesis, and each egg produces a reticulan hatchling. This form of reproduction requires no sexual partner and creates less genetic variety than sexual reproduction, though the hatchlings are not the exact clones of their mother. It is interesting to note that some scientific evidence points that in the distant past, the reticulans used to reproduce sexually. The lack of sexual reproduction among reticulans means that all the evolved social constructs and concepts, such as family and love, are totally alien to reticulans. Apart from that, Providing medical treatment to reticulans is difficult. Their organs and metabolic processes are significantly more complex than those of humans, and reticulan medical problems often require advanced medical techniques to properly diagnose and handle. Reticulan psychology is shaped by two main biological facts about their species. Reticulans reproduce asexually, as I have mentioned and their evolutionary origins can be traced back to a scavenger species that ate their prey long after predators had eaten their fill. The use of tools allowed the newly sapient reticulans to chase away predators from prey, get a bigger part of the carcass, and eventually learn to hunt and raise livestock. Reticulans are very cerebral beings. The average reticulan is smarter than the average human and a particularly brilliant reticulan outstrips even the greatest human geniuses in terms of raw cognitive power. This inherent rationality leads to a reticulan tendency towards a purely cerebral approach to life and philosophy. Reticulan religions also emphasize the rational. Most reticulans follow one of two faiths, the contemplative way or the worship of the great engineer which, interesting enough, is a male figure. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to take a look at the different factions and sub-factions of the reticulans. Everything makes sense with these species. They are, for the most part, the bad guys, or rather the bad girls of the setting. Not all of them. There are some good reticulans, or at the very least, a significant population of them that are interested in the advancement of humanity. The only thing that doesn't make sense is that they are so intelligent and yet they have religion, which is not logical or intelligent. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or Drive3RPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional games as I am handling business out of town, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you and see you later.